Hi, I'm Kimberly Armstrong. I'm a permanent makeup expert, and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know before you go get permanent cosmetics. I've been fascinated with makeup since I was seven years old, and I've been absolutely obsessed with it since I was 14. In 2004, I trained for a career in tattooing makeup on people, and I've been loving it ever since. I have my own permanent makeup facility in Laguna Hills, California, where I still do some of the procedures myself, and I train seasoned technicians to refine their skills. I also put on some seminars for beginners so that they can see what the business is all about and see if it's something that's for them. I'm sure many of you have already heard of permanent makeup, but for some, it's still a very unknown industry. It is actually a tattoo. We implant pigment just below the epidermis into the dermal layer of the skin, where it's protected from being washed away or sweated away. So basically you can sleep, and run and have fun and enjoy your life and the makeup is gonna stay there. There are many things we can do with permanent cosmetics. As far as makeup, we usually do the eyebrows, eyeliner, beauty marks, lips, and sometimes we get clients who have lost a breast due to a mastectomy. We can re-simulate an areola. So here we go. Here's the things you need to know before you go. The first thing that absolutely boggles my mind is the tattoo industry is not regulated. Anybody can watch a YouTube video and do one of these procedures. And you've gotta at some point stop and think, do I really want anybody watching a YouTube video and tattooing right next to my eye? While the state of California is now requiring body artists to be registered, it is entirely elective how much training somebody gets. The color theory, the implementation of the different procedures, the design and the shape are all elective courses that need to be taken by a technician who takes this business seriously. A second thing I want to talk about that's just frightening to me is the fact that tattooing is one of the leading causes of the spread of infectious disease. If a technician is looking to save costs, they could reuse that needle and not dispose of it afterwards, which puts you at risk for bloodborne pathogen disease, including syphilis, tuberculosis, hepatitis B and C, HIV, and many more. It's imperative you find a technician who follows OSHA standards and has been certified. One of the biggest questions I get on the phone when somebody calls wanting to know more about these procedures is, how much does it hurt? Am I gonna swell? Am I gonna bleed? There's so many horror stories about people swelling up like balloons and bleeding during these procedures. And I've gotta let you know, there's four modalities to getting these procedures done. One of them is a rotary pin, which most of the technicians start out with because they're super inexpensive they have a tendency to macerate the tissue and cause bleeding and swelling. The second modality is a tapping method where they use a bamboo stick almost to tap the ink into the skin. That also has a tendency to result in a lot of swelling and bleeding. There's the coil machine, which they also use for body work. And it's a little bit more invasive. It's a heavy machine and that sometimes can result in bleeding and swelling. I work with a digital pen I discovered years ago and I feel so fortunate to have it. It comes from Germany. It's got a patented needle safety cartridge that enables the ink to be implanted just where it needs to be in the dermal layer. Almost every one of my clients who have seen me and been elsewhere say, oh my gosh, that was not nearly as bad as what I had last time. Regarding the pain, which is a very valid concern, you want to find somebody who uses top-of-the-line anesthesia because if you're numb, there's really not a big deal doing any of these procedures. One of the biggest misconceptions in my field is simply the name, permanent makeup. It is not permanent. Usually you'll need to come back every year and a half to three years to get little color boosts, but it is not permanent and it fades at different rates of time for different people depending on a huge variety of different elements. Just to give you an idea, I spend roughly an hour and a half on an eyebrow procedure, about two hours for eyeliner, and three hours for a lip procedure. I'm gonna have you sit down and we're gonna look over your paperwork together. I'll answer any more questions you have. We sit and extensively review colors and we'll design the eyebrows or the lips or the eyeliner together. 
When I bring you over to start the tattoo, I'll get your anesthesia started, put blankets on you, use music, aromatherapy, anything just to make you as happy and comfortable as possible. And just to let you know, the actual implanting process is just 20 minutes for eyebrows, about 40 minutes for eyeliner, and a little more than an hour for the lips. So the last thing I wanna to touch on is the recovery time. And with the digital pen, there's virtually no recovery time. The only thing you can expect is to wear a little ointment on your areas while you're healing. And it's about five days for brows and seven days for eyeliner. You can use a baseball cap to hide the work, but usually people don't even notice that you've been up to anything. And just keep in mind, the most important part of the healing process is not exposing the areas to any bacterial threat. So no touching the areas with your fingers, no swimming, saunas, or exposing it to anything that could kick up dust or bacteria. My favorite part of my job is getting to know my clients. I absolutely love hearing about their families and their relationships and their stories of trauma and success and some of them have been coming to me since I started and it's just such a blessing to have them come back and fill me in on the unique details of their lives. I welcome the opportunity to get to know you too while creating a more beautiful you. So check out my website or my Yelp reviews and give me a call or keep in touch by subscribing on my website. You'll have access to my Girl Talk blog where I write about all of the awesome beauty related things my clients tell me.